more and more women are redefining themselves in careers that in the past were only filled with men. Well, this week on ABC2 News at 6, in a partnership with Newsy, we focused on the women redefining work. Newsy's Norta Gori introduces us to Patrice Banks and her girls' auto clinic empowering women. We're not here to prove anything to men. We are here to inspire women, to educate women, and to empower women. Some days I do want to be sexy, I do want to wear my heels, it's fine. But I can also take off those heels, take off the gloves, and get a little dirty and do what we need to do. I know that I needed to learn, you know, how to be a mechanic. We're in Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, to visit a sisterhood of mechanics. Not gonna lie, I don't know much about cars. And that can mean a miserable time at the auto shop and paying too much for too little. Turns out Patrice Banks felt all of this too. But unlike me, she did something about it. I was one of those women who was tired of being taken advantage of. I called myself an auto airhead, and I was. I always felt taken advantage of when I'd go in. I hated any type of experience for my car, taking in for repair or buying. So I got the idea there needs to be a space. There's a space here, there's a market here for women in the automotive industry. Patrice has a point. For the first time, more American women than men have driver's licenses. And yet, of all the auto mechanics in the country, only 2% are women. So it's not much of a surprise that women often get the short end of the stick when it comes to auto repair deals. One study found a significant difference in the price quote given to men and women for the same exact fix. To help solve this, Patrice wants more women mechanics and just generally more women in STEM fields. That's science, technology, engineering, and math. So I know we have more girls in engineering and in STEM fields than ever before, but kind of what's your take on the need for more women in STEM? Sometimes it's not about getting women to sign up for it, but how do we support them once they're in it? And so we're seeing a lot of girls sign up for the science, technology, engineering, and math fields, but once they're in it, right? They're not supported. We need engineers, not just men, women, minority engineers. We need engineers in general in America. Sue, Sue, I'm going to want you to look at this car. After all the grease, tools, and tires, it was time for some pampering. Lucky for me, this isn't just an auto shop. It's also a beauty bar. The goal was always to have a shop that catered to women and had a nail salon that was going to so get your nails done. I mean, I created a space for me that I would want to bring my car to. When I was a kid, I didn't know where I was going to go. Nobody in my family went to college, but my mom would tell me, your education is a ticket to a better life. So I kept thinking, I need to go to school. We were poor on welfare, and I suffered from abuse as a child really young. And I, from that, I got this deep down burning desire to just help others who are in pain or in need. I was able, I'm the, like the exception, right? I was able to get out of that bad situation and now it's my job to pay it forward, help other people to be able to empower themselves. How do you think you running this business is a way to combat the sexualization or fetishizing of women in male dominated fields? It's interesting because people think that I'm sexualizing it because I have the red heels and I wear my kind of tight pants, you know, and I tell them, listen, I'm not saying you have to be sexy to be a mechanic. I just am sexy. <laughs> like, it's just... <laughs> what do you think needs to happen to change that mindset so that we don't have those stereotypes? Representation. Right? You need to just start seeing more women who work on cars that look like me, that look like Susan, that look like Valerie. And so how do we do that? Girls Auto Clinic is trying to make it easier for women, so they do have that. But right now I'm just one shop, so hopefully in the future women wouldn't, won't struggle and they'll say, hey, I want to work on cars and I know I have a place to work. We probably will be looking for men. We will be hiring guys. It's just, there are there's so many available women out here that want to work on cars that have great skills, and I want to give them the opportunity, absolutely. Tomorrow at 6, women making their mark in the science world in hopes more young women will follow their steps.